The $1.9 trillion Texas economy is the second biggest in the U.S., behind only California. Texas ranks fourth for current economic climate and first for its growth prospects, thanks to strong employment and income growth forecasts for the next five years. In addition, there are over 100 of the 1,000 largest public and private companies in the U.S. based in Texas, including giants like AT&T, ExxonMobil, and Dell. So in this video we share with you the top 10 richest people in Texas. But first, please press the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Number 10. Robert Bass. Net worth, $4.8 billion. In 1959, Robert Bass and his brothers inherited $2.8 million each from their oil tycoon uncle Sid Richardson. Robert has helped launch a half-dozen investment shops including his Oak Hill Advisors. Bass private jet startup Arian has partnered with Boeing to build a supersonic business jet for $120 million. With wife Anne, Bass has given $50 million each to Duke and Stanford. Number 9. Dan Nye Navara. Net worth, $5 billion. Dan Nye Navara and her three siblings inherited Enterprise Products Partners, the energy pipeline giant founded by their late father, Dan Duncan. Formerly the richest person in Houston, Duncan died in 2010 at age 77 of a brain hemorrhage. Duncan started Enterprise Products in 1968 with $10,000 and a truck. Now it owns nearly 50,000 miles of natural gas, oil and petrochemical pipelines. Avara's sister Randa Duncan Williams is the only sibling on the board of the company. Number 8. Robert Smith. Net worth, $5.2 billion. Robert Smith founded private equity firm Vista Equity Partners in 2000. It focuses exclusively on investing in software companies. With over $50 billion in assets, Vista is one of the best-performing private equity firms, posting annualized returns of 22% since inception. In October 2020, Smith entered into an agreement with the DOJ and IRS, agreeing to pay $139 million for his role in a tax evasion scheme. As a college student, Smith secured an internship at Bell Labs after calling the company every week for five months. An engineer by training, he worked at Kraft Foods in Goodyear Tire before getting his MBA at Columbia University. During a commencement speech, Smith vowed to wipe out the student debt of the entire 2019 graduating class of Morehouse College. Number 7. Richard Kinder. Net worth, $6.4 billion. Kinder chairs oil and gas pipeline giant Kinder Morgan, the largest U.S. energy infrastructure firm, which owns or operates 84,000 miles of pipeline. He co-founded Kinder Morgan in 1997 after stepping down as president of energy and commodities firm Enron Corp. Kinder stepped down as CEO of Kinder Morgan in June 2015. His Kinder Foundation funds education, urban green space and quality of life initiatives in Houston. In October 2015, Kinder donated $25 million to the University of Missouri to support studies of the U.S. Constitution. Number 6. Andrew Beal. Net worth, $7.6 billion. Andrew Beal is the founder and owner of Beal Financial Corporation, which owns Beal Bank and has assets of more than $8 billion. The Texas banker is known for gobbling up distressed assets, including mortgages, bonds backed by commercial planes and IOUs to power plants. He made a tidy sum during the Great Recession, scooping up beaten down assets while the nation's biggest banks were being bailed out by taxpayers. Born in Lansing, Michigan, he scraped together cash early on fixing used televisions. Beal, who dropped out of both Michigan State University and Baylor University, says he has subscribed to Forbes for over three decades. Number 5. Stanley Kroenke. Net worth, $8.3 billion. Stanley Kroenke is a real estate and sports mogul with an international portfolio. He owns some 30 million square feet of real estate, much of it shopping plazas near Walmart stores. Kroenke owns the Los Angeles Rams, which he moved back to California from St. Louis in 2016. His sports empire also includes the Denver Nuggets, Colorado Avalanche, Colorado Rapids, and Britain's Arsenal Soccer Club. He is a major landowner, with nearly 2 million acres of ranches across the U.S. and Canada. Number 4. Jerry Jones. Net worth, $8.5 billion. The former co-captain of University of Arkansas 1964 National Championship team, Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones has long had football in his blood. His most valuable holding is the Dallas Cowboys, which he bought for $150 million in 1989. 
The team is currently valued at $5.5 billion. Jones made a name for himself as an oil wildcatter, making his first million in oil investments in the 1970s. He still invests in drilling opportunities as well as retail and residential real estate projects in Dallas. After a 2018 deal, Jones became the controlling shareholder in Comstock Resources, a publicly traded Texas oil and gas company. An avid art collector, Jones' collections includes Norman Rockwell's coin toss, as well as paintings by Picasso, Renoir, and Matisse among others. Number 3, and Walton Kroenke. Net worth, $9.2 billion. And Walton Kroenke is the daughter of Bud Walton, who helped his brother Sam to build Walmart into a retail giant. She inherited part of Bud's stake in the retailer when he died in 1995. A registered nurse, Walton Kroenke is not involved in Walmart as a board member or an executive. Her husband is the billionaire real estate mogul Stan Kroenke. Number 2, Michael Dell. Net worth, $39.5 billion. Michael Saul Dell was born in 1965. He is an American billionaire businessman and philanthropist. He is the founder, chairman and CEO of Dell Technologies, one of the world's largest technology infrastructure companies. He is ranked 32nd richest person in the world, with a net worth of $39.5 billion. In 2016, Dell Technologies was merged with computer storage giant EMC. The estimated $60 billion Dell EMC merger, which was finalized in 2016, was the largest technology acquisition ever. In late 2018 Dell Technologies returned to public markets through a complicated financial restructuring. Much of Dell's fortune lies in his private investment firm MSD Capital, which has stakes in hotels and restaurants. In May 2017, Dell donated $1 billion to his foundation, which focuses on child poverty. It makes both impact investments and charitable donations. Number 1, Alice Walton. Net worth, $69.1 billion. Alice Louise Walton was born in 1949. She is an American heiress to the fortune of Walmart. In September 2016, she owned over $11 billion in Walmart shares. Now, Walton has a net worth of $69.1 billion, making her the 14th richest person and the second richest woman in the world. Alice Walton is the only daughter of Walmart founder Sam Walton. She has focused on curating art, rather than working for Walmart like her siblings Rob and Jim. In 2011, she opened the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in her hometown of Bentonville, Arkansas. Crystal Bridges features works from the likes of Andy Warhol, Norman Rockwell, and Mark Rothko. In January 2020, she took aim at America's broken healthcare system and unveiled plans to open a holistic health institute in Bentonville.